hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to yet another video happy new year to everyone i hope life is treating you guys well <music> title of the video is things i wish i knew was growing up so without further ado let's get straight into the video so basically the first thing that i wish i knew was growing up is to save money saving guys is so so important yeah you have to save for the rainy day when you have unexpected you know money issues coming up if you have like your savings you can always chip in and, and help you know also like for your future i feel like as you're growing up now let's say 18 you know that's the time i feel like people should really you know prepare for their future um people should really like think about what they want to do later on in life and i just wish like I had, you know, saved money. Like basically I had a gap year before I went to uni and during that gap year, like I was working and like, I didn't really have to pay bills like rent, you know, I used to pay my phone bill and that was it. And then, so it used to be a lot of money then for like, you know, like a 17, 18 year old. And basically guys, I was so naughty, you know, I spent most of the money on different things you know like going out with my friends you know um yeah just buying unnecessary things you know that half of the time i end up like giving them to charity or sending them back home you know and like during these times now i sometimes like i sit down and i think about it and i'm like i just wish you know <laughs> back then like i was saving my money because trust me guys you would always always wish you were saving that money if not so i always like advise and tell people that you know that are younger than me and people that are struggling and i'm like you have to try you know to save like saving is really good for the rainy days you know when money issues come you know you just have to just go into your savings and that's it so like one thing i wish you know i knew like was growing up is saving another thing i wish i knew was growing up is you know in terms of like love and relationship basically like your parents are there you know to advise you to guide you and i'm so privileged and i'm so like happy that i got parents that would advise me in terms of like my love life and just guide me really to making like right decisions but you know sometimes like i i don't know guys if you can relate yeah but as as you're growing up like when i was 18 you know my type of guy that i would look at and say oh god that's the type of guy that i really want that's the type of guy that i really like now that i'm like of this age it has changed completely you know like now you know i go for someone that you know loves me treats me like a queen that like the queen that yeah queen mama bell yeah you know the time um but yeah guys like someone that will respect you someone that has a good family you know like that's basically things you know hard working that is definitely god fearing and someone that just really adores you basically yeah? and like before i used to just pay attention to the fact that oh i like the person i like this person i like this person i didn't really pay attention to the fact that you know this person might not like me and which makes the relationship even much more like difficult so like i you know went through issues like that in terms of like i had to learn the hard way to say you know as <laughs> as, a, as a young girl the things that we fancy in a man or in a relationship most times are really like the wrong things we're looking at and as you grow older now you you want someone that is basically you know that basically adores you and but i wish you know i knew then back then that what i was looking at in a guy is 
really not what I should be looking for in a guy. Um, that's one thing that I wish, you know, I knew whilst growing up. Another thing I wish I knew whilst growing up is not to, you know, compare myself to other people or what other people have and just really trust my own process and my own growth. Um, which can be really difficult like when you see you know with all this social media that's you know happening around us it's it's quite difficult for someone to keep sane and you know like not try to wish you know someone else's life was theirs so as i grew older now like i realized that now like I am me and my journey is my journey so I don't have to look at any other person I don't have to look at what's going on for that person at the end of the day God has a purpose for my life and that's what I should believe and that's what I should trust um, so that's basically like one of the very important lessons that I learned like whilst growing up that your process is your process you know your journey is your journey and I don't like to stop comparing so I should stop like comparing myself to other people and you know just be happy for them you know and just wait that your turn you know will come and trust me guys like everyone's you know turn or purpose is so different when it's your time it's your time and you know life has ups and downs but it's, it happens in everyone's life so what when you compare yourself to that person you don't know what that person is going through so you never know if you wish you if you wish you were that person and god throws that you have of what that person has gone through or is going through i don't think you will survive it so you know don't compare yourself to anyone another thing i wish i knew whilst growing up is the fact that you you can't trust no one okay basically you guys like trust no one anyone can switch on you anytime any day like whilst growing up you know i used to like depend my happiness on friends you know on certain people but as you grow older you should really realize that you have to make yourself happy you have to do things to make you happy because if you put your trust on your or your happiness on anyone it's a wrap <laughs> you're gonna end up crying and being sad for no reason so really and truly it's only god that can give us unconditional love you know like so you putting your trust or your hope in a human being it's gonna leave you disappointed so i wish i knew that it took me obviously time to really get that bit of life but i'm happy that i finally got there but yeah don't trust no one and just know that anyone can switch on you at any time and you are like your own best friend obviously it's good to have best friends and, and things like that but you are really your only best friend because people love you People, because people's love for you is conditioned and it's not unconditional. So you have to know that if you are, you know, not giving them a certain part of you or if they don't need you anymore, then they're going to leave. Another thing I wish I knew whilst growing up is that I can ask for help. You know you can ask for help you can be vulnerable like obviously this um generation has just made things very difficult in terms of like you being vulnerable or you asking for help but it's good to ask for help you know to anyone to your friends to your family if you need help always ask someone for help be it financial help being be it psychological help be it mental help be it any type of help like you can actually ask for help speak to someone ask your friends you know obviously you need to know who you're asking <laughs> because you can't go around just asking everyone for help but that's one thing that i wish i knew was growing up because um there are certain times that let this heavy weight on me when really and truly i can actually just speak to someone or really and truly i can ask someone for help and it makes a lot of difference when you ask for help and when you speak like they say a problem shared is a problem solved so it's really good to ask for help so i wish i knew that whilst um i was growing up another thing i wish i knew um whilst growing up is the fact that 
you know you have to lose loved ones friendships um family along the line and that's that's okay you know that means that they are not going with you on your next like journey on your next level and it's fine so I, I, like i'm the type of person that gets really attached to someone and most of the time when you know they are not there it's like i feel this gap and emptiness but as i'm growing older now i'm like you know i struggle really and truly i struggle with this with this issue it comes with the fact that um this person you know might not be there so i have to kind of find a way of <laughs> you know slowly slowly preparing myself for the worst another thing i wish i knew was growing up really guys is about social media yeah as we all know social media is where the devil is right now in this our generation so 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 many things are happening on social media um and which is sad because i think that that wasn't the purpose of it and that that wasn't what it, it was created for but as you're growing up i think you should really know that social media is not how your life is social media is just a platform it's just um an area like your 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 whole life is not social media like growing up like i used to really be a social media person you know and my dad used to always tell me like it's not everything you post on social media it's not everything now i've come to a point that i realize that that is really <laughs> i really and truly that is true you know it's not everything you have to put out there for people to see because sometimes as well once you put it out there for people to see then they have things to talk about and then you feel bad when they give you feedback or they start talking about you but really and truly you're the one that <laughs> that really put your stuff out there for them to talk about so um learning a lot a lot about about um social media during like my years and like now it's getting better but don't don't just put everything you know out there it's nice to to show the world that you are happy you know you have this and this and that going on for you but just be careful, you know, the things that you put on social media because a lot, a lot of drama, a lot of, you guys know, like, the things that are going on um, in social media at the minute and it just shows the disadvantages of um, social media. So when you are, when you are um, on your socials, just be careful what you do, what you talk about, what you say.